Before replacing your monitor or upgrading your monitor, you're definitely going to want to check out a couple of these tips that will save you potentially from some major headaches. First and foremost, you want to look both on the back of your computer as well as on the back of the monitor where the cable connects the monitor to the computer. There's a handful of different types of cables and there's some variations of some of those standards which can cause some confusion and issues when trying to replace things or upgrade them. Now the newer and more common ones are going to be either HDMI or DisplayPort. Here is HDMI. You can see that it is slanted on both sides. And then if you look at DisplayPort, it is flat on one side. Now, both of these can carry both video and audio. HDMI is very popular because that's what most TVs use whenever you connect it to, say, a PlayStation or Blu-ray player and so on. Originally, computers used to mostly all use this connection here called VGA. And it's going to be a blue or bluish purple. And you can take a look and see that there's pins like that on the inside. And then there is another standard called DVI. And this is where it gets kind of confusing. Now, this is actually a older KVM switch, but I just wanted to show you what it looks like up close. So this is just one of the variations. And to show you how confusing this can get, there is a DVI D and DVI I. And the D is for digital and the I allows uh, both digital and analog. But where you run into the problems is that if you have a cable that is DVI dash I, basically you have like this little flat piece of metal here and then you have four pins around it. If the video card on the computer is missing those pins and it's just digital, then you can't take this and plug it in. And before unplugging things, I highly recommend taking a picture with your phone or digital camera so that you can recall where everything plugged into. Next, take a photo directly of the port on the computer as well as on the monitor without the cable being plugged in. And this way you can zoom in to determine what kind of port that it has, especially if you're dealing with DVI. Most monitors these days are either DisplayPort or HDMI, and sometimes they have variations of like mini DisplayPort like this guy here, where it's got tiny mini display port connectors right here. Or if you're connecting it to a laptop, it might have some kind of port like this on the side, in which case you may need to get a cable that has mini display port on one side and the full size display port on the other side. Now let me know if this video helped you out and I'll catch you in the next one.